Hello everyone, Put the Bard, and we are back! I know you can't believe it, but we are, and we're gonna check out this, uh, skeezy hotel room. Skeezy, sleazy, easy peasy hotel room, and see what we can find about the killer of not snow. So let's see, let's start with this, uh, cassette player, cause the modern technology. The same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. We shouldn't even be in here. Take the cassette, Big B. Take it. Alright, let's look at the bloody bed. It is the paramount thing. Let's take one of the flowers. Evidence! Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. Oh! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you on that one. So there's no prompt here, but there was one at the foot of the bed. Apple. Do oh. you smell something? No, just apple. Just apple. Hmm. What do we got? What have we got? Okay, just apple, because there was an apple there. Storybook! Let's take an eyeball. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The Monday version of her story. Say where er gashirabat mit herbing ogen out. Angers try higher again. Okay, I'm done with this. Let's see. Beautiful. The whole book Fuji? is about her? Red yeah. Delicious. Huh. Empire. Uh, bookmark this picture because it shows snow and peril, and he likes that. He you mean likes it? Danger fetish? Something like that. Okay, so Great he's basically teeth. just crazy. Which, yes, no big surprise there. Don't we all like a little bit of danger, though? I'm just trying to be real here. I, I, honestly, uh, no, 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 that's not what I said. Mir Oct Rich Anter Wartetetetete Dear Bjowerning. Okay, we're done with that. Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? Hmm. This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. D E D. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? Uh, the bed matches the coffin. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Mr. Smith. Smith. Who we know is a total nutcase. Oh my god. Poor girl. Mr. She Anderson. Go. She probably just needed the money. Who made she that joke way before I anyone. did? How did she wind up here? Hmm. I mean, not exactly here, but just how does... Uh, but, 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 but she made her own choices. Like there was a series of choices involved. I'm sure she'd have done things differently if she knew where things were headed. Wouldn't we all? Yeah. That's kind of a cop-out answer, Big B. Anything else? Can't look at those other pages? Alright, let's uh, go back there and make sure it's near fighting night and nights, man. Then, sure, and dear, unchad, gap, wapen. Okay. Nothing. What do we got here? Ashtray, cigarettes. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only right one who on. smoked that crap. Brand. Hey, hey, hey. Apparently not. They don't survive off of just me. Come on. Maybe no one gets a brand known coming. just off of one per Don't interrupt me. All right. He brought wine. Classy. Wine. Classy. Yeah, well, of course it always Stay is. Strong. What are we looking at? Yes. Stay strong, girl. For my arrival. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. Uh, that's not the right song for the right princess. Uh, oh, let's take a listen. Oh, we can put it in the thing. What are we going to hear? I'll be quiet. I 
I'm waiting. Patiently. Is this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I'll I guess bet. I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. So it's birds God. chirping? That could have covered up a murder. Good to know for the future. Hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. What's in here? Something hey there. This dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? Well, I mean No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Uh, yikes. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Uh, I he I think it's cross dress. Snow looks like costume. Silence he likes it rough. Dress. Make me think our Mr. Smith likes to play hard. Mm. He's a violent man. A violente man. You need the dress to tell you that? He's got a thing about snow, and he's got a thing about violence. I think that much was already clear. Thanks. God, all right. I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, I too. love frozen he's water, sexual too. sexual violence as well as regular violence, apparently. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I don't blame you. Uh, let's sniff about. Look at that. What's that on the floor, Big B? I have to investigate it instead of just having it be part of the cinematic. What is it, Big B? Big B, tell me. Tell me, Big B, 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 what is it, buddy? Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. Not every How one of them. Know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. That's oh, weird. No. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying because to of get beast, closer he was and weird. closer. You married him, though. Gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Oh! You creepy son of a bitch! I, you should be sad. What are you doing? No, do no, no! Don't break the mirror, you idiots! Oh, that son of a bitch! Achievable, un achievable unlock. No respect for the dead. Next time, you now. Good. I'll be quiet. I'm dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Bastard! I'll be quiet now. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> And that is episode two of The Wolf Among Us. Let's take a look at how we did. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? 60.9 giggity percent of you sympathized with him because we didn't know what a fuck he was at this point. Uh, how did you treat the murder suspect? 62.4, uh, including myself, uh, uh, persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow come with you? Goddamn right I did. She's a tough broad. She can come with me. 91.9%. .9%. How did you handle George Porchy? Me and 30.1% of the press hit Georgie. He's a dick. I stand by my statement. 
and my decision. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of people did not hit Beast the second time. You know why? Because he was just defending his wife. I would do the same thing if I was married, but I'm not because I'm a hideous Beast. Ah! Anyway, we're, uh, we're going to keep playing, and I think we've got episode 3 coming up next time on Poop the Bard Plays... The Wolf Among Us. Stay tuned for the exciting middle clusion of this wonderful saga. Until next time, don't get any on ya!